Oh, now I feel good. What do you want? Well, we have to decide what we're going to do. We have um, our gay intern, or we have Melrose Larry, and if you want me to reschedule somebody, tell me how you want to handle it. Wow, jam-packed show. What is Melrose Larry Green doing here? Is he moving to New York? I don't know. He's a weird guy. He's here an awful lot. He, you know what? He was in Cleveland. He went from L.A. to Cleveland to Albany, down in New York, and I don't know when he's going home. Mm. And he says, uh, but he says, hey, Jackie Mason says hello. Saw him last night. Melrose Larry Green is just one of those guys who, uh, the thing that amazes me is where does he get his money? And yes. you know what? The, the thing I don't like interviewing, I don't like interviewing him on the air anymore because he's so full of shtick. Mm -hmm. Like when we were in Cleveland and he came up on stage, he was make-believing, he was crying and yes. stuff. And that, that kind of, I like honest, real emotion. Like an elephant boy. But Larry Green, I don't know what his deal is. Other, I know he's crazy because he stands out in front of our building or he stands out in Los Angeles on Melrose and just holds up signs about Howard Stern. I know he's a fanatic for the show. Well, the pressure, I guess, of being a fanatic on the show is getting to him because he's been blowing up at John and myself. In other words, if a week goes by and he's here and we don't get to him... yeah. He, he goes, hey, you know, I put those signs up and I stand out in front there. And who the hell do you guys think you are? And then he'll yell at us and then he'll call me back for three days apologizing, leaving notes. You see, I'd like to hear that on the air when he blows up. but Yeah, we can never get that. Melrose, Larry Green. Larry and Jackie. Jackie Campbell, Who's Jackie? Miss Albany. Oh, oh, hi, Miss Albany. Come on in. Hey, I heard you hooked up with Melrose. Good morning, fellas. She's a really good looking girl. And supposedly she spent the night at Melrose, Larry Green's house. I don't think anything happened. Did you get her? Huh? Did you get her? No. No? I'm listening to the show. I know. Oh. Well, he picked me up at the bus station. He picked you up at the bus station? Yeah. Is he trying to get in your pants? No, he's not. No. Larry's the gentleman. Howard. No, Larry's morning. a retard. He's, he's the only gentleman Before you around? throw me out, I want to say I have gotten hundreds of calls about the Jackie Mason appearance. All right, good. And, and Jackie good, Mason good. is dying to come How do you get, make money? Huh? I know you say you're an accountant, but there's no way you are. I just finished four days expenses paid trip from Rochester. Yeah. With Rocket 95. Yeah. And uh, I just was hanging out there. But how are, you, how are you getting the money to fly all over the country uh, and hold up signs about me? I, I think Melrose is funny when he holds up the yeah. signs. Mm -hmm. right. I've seen him. At, I saw right. him at the Libertarian Convention, right. and he was writing signs as people were talking. Right. He it was, was very, very funny that was at the convention. interactive sign making, I call it. It was fun. It was yeah. funny. But I, I I'm, just, I'm really curious. Enough about me, Howard. You. No, you, no, I'm really I'm curious. Yeah. Don't do, don't do jokes because okay. you're not funny. Okay. You're really not funny. Okay. What's funny about you is your life. If yes. you answered the questions, you would be funny. Okay, I will answer the questions. What's funny about you is when I ask you how you make your money, the funny thing would be to hear the real answer. I'm a tax preparer. I prepare people's income taxes. All right. and, and you mean to tell me that you stand outside on Melrose Avenue yes. all day and night. Not all day. You run around here in New York yes. with signs. Yes, with signs. And then people see your appearance. It's a slovenly appearance. Right. They trust you with their taxes. Not only do they trust me in my taxes, but I just came from Cornell, where I went to school and got my MBA, my 20-year anniversary. And there were two kinds of people there. The wives wanted to call security on me, and the husbands all wanted my autographs because you've made me so famous. All right. Howard, can I ask him a question? Yeah. Anything at all, Gary. How come, you act, how come you've been acting like such a jerk lately, and then when you come in here, you act so normal? But how come you don't act like, you know how like when you yell at, uh, mm. at John and I, and you say, like, F. Howard, and screw you guys, that and I'm never going to talk to you guys ever no, again? No, no, let's not bring up the past. Please. No, but even just recently, you've been, like, giving John and I a hard time to get angry because we don't put you on as often as you'd like. Well. What's that about, though? We in the Wack Pack well, yeah, we, we are all vying for that coveted airtime. When you do the Howard Stern show, basically, you're doing 16 shows at once. You're on in Dallas, El Paso, you're on with... Who Tank. would look at him, a guy who stands out on the street with big signs and looks homeless? Who would and let they him... do my taxes. Yeah, who would let the taxes be prepared Andrew by Andrew Dice Clay, I did him for five years. Not when he got famous. No. When he got uh, famous, who did he dump? Uh, me. Right. But <laughs> right. Right before he became the Vin Man in Casual so, Sex, that's yeah. when I did it. As really? soon as he got the Vin Man, that was the end, last I ever heard is, is, it, is a tax preparer an accountant? In other words, do you prepare uh, them, or do you actually do the accounting? No. Or do you just write the numbers I, I, down and hand I it to a guy? I prepare the taxes, and then I go to the audits afterwards when the IRS... After they audit, it. because after you fill your, it out, every one, every one of your, your clients insurance. is audited? Is that what you're saying? All right, <laughs> uh, here comes the retard. Can I just say one thing? Yeah. Because I do two very quick things. Number one... Jackie uh, is a very platonic friend of mine. She has right. a very... Uh, she's attached already. She, right. She's and she's on our New Year's Eve yeah. videotape. 1-800-52-STERN. Get the Leroy Neiman posted before, before Howard decides to pull it off and do a video of the Albany uh, Convention. Also, I want to say two things. That thing you did this morning with, yeah. with uh, your Old Man River, with OJ, Yes. you should do something 
with your father's old man river like Natalie Cole and Nat All right, Cole. listen, I got to go. All right, thank you. Thank you for you're interviewing me. Okay. Right. Thank you. Right. You're thinking way too much about the show. And I went to Hewlett High School also. All right. We good. used to hang out when you went to Southside. I was a friend of Alan's Y. Bell. He was called Dweeb the Zweeb. All right, very good. Okay. All right, there that he is. That was my segment. Melrose, Larry <laughs> Green. You were great. You were incredible. <laughs> want me to kick me out? I'll leave now. Are you a homo? Am I a homo? Yeah. Are you? No. You are not a homo? No. So why, so why are you not going out with her? I was, when I got my MBA. When's the last time you got a girl? Oh, come on. Be honest. When's the last time you got a girl? Two weeks ago. Are you lying? No. She's in 422 with the Edison, if you want to call her right now. Really? Yeah. You got a girl with you? Yeah. No, well, she's a friend from Did you see the girl? Yes, I did. Is she cute? Really? Yeah. Why didn't you bring her? Because I don't want her to take Jackie's airtime. No, why don't you bring the, uh, why don't you bring a girl with you the next time? Then I'll put you on. All right. Let me see your girlfriend. All right. Bring her in. Okay. Yeah, we're just friends, Melrose. We're just that friends, doesn't yeah. count for anything, I guess. Well, it does, but you know. And what are you doing hanging around with Melrose Larry Green? Because I know Larry Green, not the Melrose character. He does, you know, it is a character. And what? I mean, what are you? Why are you hanging around town? What are you looking to do? Well, You're a real well, pretty girl. I mean, well, you look great you. on the videotape and everything else. Mm -hmm. I have friends that live on Long Island, but of course now they can't make it into the city to see me. But so here I am. Hanging out with Melrose She's Larry made me Green. very mellow. Are you stripping at a club? Or are you, what are you doing? Um, no, not here. Not here? Just vacationing. Okay, very good. All right. I met her through Gorilla. She was trying to get All upstairs. Right. Thank you. I'm learning. I, this is boring <laughs> to me. I'm learning way too much. All right, thank you. New sign for Howard. Go Rangers. Read this. All right. Only thank Howard you. Stern is Howard. Howard Stern is God. All right. Thank you, Melrose Larry Green thank and you. the beautiful thank Albany you, Ice Sculptress. Thank you, Gary Robin. Ready, thank, thank you. Thank you, Fred. Unbelievable. All right, let me take a break. <laughs> oh, boy. For those of you watching our TV show here, this is um, someone just faxed us in how to draw Gary, how to draw Baba Booey. <laughs> here it is. It says uh, how to draw Gary, Robin. Okay. All right. This is a lesson for everyone at home. Step one, caveman eyebrow. There it is. One, not two. Very one. important. One you joining one eyebrow. eyebrow. Step two, smelly mustache, which is one line, as you can see. Yeah, almost as long as the eyebrow. Right. They're sent in by our listener, John Neggy. John Neggy <laughs> Then, booger-filled nose and beady eyes. You can see that. <laughs> and you got step three, big, giant teeth. See? There's lots of them. Lots of miles of them. <laughs> And then, of course, you um, can add one of these profound statements. You put a caption. It could either be "daw" or "hey, ball." <laughs> Where's the Lesbos? See, I'm an idiot, a friggin' idiot. If Hold you on. feel very inspired that day, you can add your own. Right. There's only one mistake on this. Nobody put the mole in. Let me ah. see. There's no mole. Well, and you got here's a picture of Gary's face. After I pass wind in his face. Oh, man. Oh. Says, Wolf, I don't think this is funny. Face of death. All right. Um, this is called primitive Baba Booey. Yeah. Very, uh, lots of African influence. Yeah. Uh. Boss, I is the missing link. There it is. Looks like a cave drawing. Look at all the drawings coming in. Here's Gary. This is just Gary the gorilla. Here. Oh. 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 All the facts is coming in. God, there's a pile of them. People never tire of drawing Gary. Yeah, I know. There's just so many of them. And they're getting so creative. I'm showing them to our camera because we're putting that on the e-show. Look at the work, the detail in there. All right, you want to talk about detail? Wait a second. Oh, jeez. Here's, um, here's the side of a milk carton that says, uh, <laughs> Have you seen this monkey? Oh, oh, one 800 <laughs> Whatever that is. All right. <laughs> All right. We'll see you tomorrow, Rob.